Hello and welcome to our first Revit MEP 2008 uh, demonstration uh, video here. Um, and in this CAD clip, what we're going to do, I've got my six points uh, written down here inside of a basic project file. And what we're talking about is just introducing and kind of doing a demo on using uh, Revit MEP to lay out an HVAC uh, system, air supply system. So what we're going to do is we're going to do six different main things here. We're going to link in an architectural model because we want to use the architectural rooms because really the rooms drive the whole thing then once we link in the architectural model we're going to copy the architectural levels we're going to synchronize our phases very quickly and then we're going to get what we want we'll be able to copy the rooms from the linked architectural model then we're just going to simply run an IES heating and cooling load calculation to get the CFMs that we uh, need to know for the room or space that we're talking about then I'm going to add in some air terminals some diffusers and put in a VAV fan uh, unit inside of there and then I'm going to create a logical system between the diffusers and the um, the VAV unit and then after I create the logical system I'll simply create the physical duct system and then we'll have a look at it so uh, I'm just going to start by clicking on my notes and delete that and I'm just in a basic file inside of here in Revit and what I'm going to do is link in an architectural model so I'm going to go up to the top and go file import I'm going to link a Revit file in my folder here I'm going to link in a file RME uh, demo um, architectural file and it's just an architectural building with a couple of floors and some rooms inside of there and I'm going to use origin to origin when I link in that architectural model. I can also go back later and do the reverse and link my mechanical stuff back to this architectural model and see it uh, the other end of it which is kind of neat so after I link in that the first thing I want to do is just go in and copy some levels and then do a little bit of work with um, some phases in our copy monitor. I'm just going to go to a south view. Okay, I can go to a 3D view. There's my architectural model here that I've linked inside. I'm going to go to a south view. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Use my copy monitor tools because I want to get to the rooms. That's what I want. So I'm going to go tools, copy monitor, select the link. I'm going to pick on this architectural link. First thing I'm going to do is go into my options. Inside of there, go to rooms, simply change my phases so that my phase phases are linked up or synced up I should say with the phases from the link so that's done hit OK on that and OK just below and I'm done now I'm going to use the copy tool and I'm going to copy in the level so I'm going to copy in level one I'm going to copy in level two I'm going to copy in level three I could also use the multiple option okay after I copy in the levels and I've synced up my phases now I can go to say a mechanical level one okay and I can just say copy rooms it's gonna say okay five rooms were copied from the previous model you don't have to pick the rooms you don't have to do anything it now copies those rooms so now I have these rooms and that's where all the good information is from the architectural model I have my rooms on my first floor and I also have one big room on my second floor and there's my room from below because that one has a high ceiling in that space over there so just my different rooms that I've copied in. So I say finish that and I'm done the initial part of setting up my structure or my uh, MEP model inside of here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just run some heating and loading calculations because I'm dealing with this space over here and I want to know you know the airflow for that particular room that's required. So I'm going to go down here under more tools and I'm going to go heating and cooling calculations and inside of there I can see my 3D model. I can go to rooms over here and this is kind of fun because I can click on each individual room and say you know highlight that room okay I can also say isolate that room and go through so we can see there's my big library and there's my different rooms that I have okay and I can take these off etc so that's kind of nice so outside of that I'm gonna go back to building here and all I'm going to do is just down below I'm gonna hit my calculate button Okay, I'm just going to pause the recording, let it do its calculation and come back and it'll have a report created for us. And soon as those calculations are done, we get this beautiful report here, which is stored down inside of our reports, um, right down inside of here. And 
what I wanted to get from there is I'm going to deal with the admin offices and I wanted to get this number here, the 377 CFM. So there's the, the report. This is a one-way exported report. We can also create schedules which are different, which are bi-directional. This is just a one-way uh, tool and we can also export and go into this software itself and do some neat stuff. So there's my magic number. I need 377 CFMs for the admin office. And the admin office is this room right in here. If I click on there, and I check the properties of that, I'll see that that is the um, admin office inside of here. Admin office. Um, and now I'm going to add in some um, air terminals and uh, a VAV unit because I know I'm dealing with 377 CFMs, and which equates to about 190 if I put two um, diffusers in there. So I'm going to go over here to my uh, mechanical tools or I can even go to basic and I can say I would like to place an air terminal. So I'm going to say okay the air terminal is going to be a 24 by 24 inch with an 8 inch neck. Okay, I'm going to take that air terminal and I'm just going to place it there. I can take another one, you know maybe copy that, it doesn't matter. Place it over there, hit escape, hit escape. Now I'm going to take uh, and go back to mechanical equipment, okay, instead of air terminal. I can do this in a, any particular order, doesn't matter once you get used to it. And I'm going to go in here and pick a VAV unit, um, size 3 with an 8 inch inlet. Click on there, I'm going to move over here, I'm going to zoom in, place it outside of here, and I know that my, uh, where I need to turn that around so it goes out that way for the terminal to be on the right side. I hit escape and escape. So there's my VAV unit and I can go to a 3D view and I can see those units that are being placed inside of here, you know. And you can see that they're down too low, of course. So I'm going to go into here. They don't allow you to change the vertical height of these as you're placing them, which is very strange. So I know my ceiling height. So I'm going to take these two guys, click on them and say, okay, you are at, you know, eight feet. Okay, this guy, the center line of that one is going to be at nine feet, a little bit above, so it has some room to um, for the flex duct. So now I've added in my air terminals and my VAV unit for that particular room. I need to set my CFMs. I can do that by clicking on here if I want and, you know, change that to be 190, or I can click on it here and I can go to the properties, or I can go up to here and change it up there. There's many ways to do that. Okay, then I'm going to... Um, click on this guy and I'm going to change check the properties of that air supply flow is my 377 or I'm just going to make it a, an even 380 so my 380 here and my 2190s ready to go now all I have to do is create what is the logical system so I'm going to click on my two terminals using my control button and I'm going to hit my button over here create air supply system I'm going to pick on there and it creates that or it starts to create that and now I get some special icons where I can say okay I want to add equipment so I'm going to pick on here and pick on this piece of equipment and now it's added that as the um, logical um, system so I click out now don't get the logical system mixed up with the duct system the duct routing is a little bit different because when I click on here and I hover and I go tab and I click that is showing me my logical um, system but now I want to say create um, layout path which is the duct work or physical aspect I'm going to click on here and then it's going to give me some different options that I can go through here and select on whichever particular um, routing system I want and then I can go and change it after the fact if I want as well. And that looks like the routing system that I want. We can also go into settings here and we should check our branch settings and our main settings here which is where a lot of people uh, where it gets you every time and it doesn't create the create, uh, the the right layout. So now that I've decided that I want number three of five options that it's providing me, I simply hit finish layout and then it creates that duct system for me. If I go to my 3D view, I'm looking through my mechanical view, you can see there's my duct system that's inside of there and we can then slice and dice that up in any way we want with our uh, sections and visibility tools. So uh, that's it on creating quick demo on creating an HVAC system with Revit MEP 2008.